Welcome to the Google Cloud Security Showcase, a special web series where we'll focus on security use cases that customers can solve with Google Cloud. My name is Andy, and I'm a product manager at Google Cloud. Today, we'll be walking through one of the top questions we get from customers. How can I tell if I have misconfigurations or vulnerabilities in my GCP resources, and how do I fix them? The Cloud Security Command Center, Cloud SCC, is a security management and data risk tool for GCP resources that helps you prevent, detect, and respond to threats from a single pane of glass. To help you prevent threats, uh, Cloud SCC shows you resources that have been misconfigured and provides recommendations of how to fix them before an attacker can exploit them. The first step is to see if you have any vulnerabilities in your GCP resources, you'll first need to go to the Cloud SEC security settings and make sure the native detectors are enabled. Here, we've enabled both the security health analytics and the security scanner. Once the scanners are on, they will start assessing your GCP resources for any vulnerabilities and service findings to the dashboard. On the dashboard, we can already see there are findings from both Security Health Analytics and Security Scanner. First, we'll explore the Security Analytics findings, which show you the overall misconfigurations in your infrastructure on GCP. Here, we see we have open firewalls, public buckets, public IP addresses. So let's dig into it a little bit more. As we look at the underlying details, we'll need to filter down from the different sources to the ones that are specifically for Security Health Analytics. If we take the Security Health Linux ID, we can quickly reduce down to just the findings that are related to Security Health Analytics. As you can see, we have over 30 different detections of misconfiguration we do out of the box. So let's explore one of those open firewalls. If we pick a particular open firewall, this will tell you when the item was detected what protocol, in this case an allow all IP addresses, was found for this firewall, uh, what the actual explanation was, if this was okay for that particular resource, what the customer can do using security marks to actually whitelist that particular resource for open firewalls, the severity, which is something that we've uh, taken an initial approach in encoding, and then also which detector. Specifically, once we know that this is the open firewall, we also provide you a recommendation around what you do and a direct link to reconfigure the resource. So if we click on that link, that takes us to the actual firewall rule. We can hit edit and then go and disable it, in which case we've now eliminated that open firewall, at which point in time, the next time the scan occurs, this particular detection will no longer trigger. When we go back to the dashboard, we're able to see similar results on the Cloud Security Scanner, which is a web vulnerability scanner on your applications, which can be served either in GCE, App Engine, or GKE. And we'll find things like cross-site scripting, outdated libraries, Rosetta Flash, and a few other things. If we now explore what we currently have under those, we'll see that for the Cloud Security Scanner, again, we'll want to filter on its uh, parent type just to reduce down to the detections that are related to it. And you can see just the categories of items that it finds. We go explore a specific one, like this cross-site scripting callback. We're again taken to a detail page, which gives you a description of what the issue was, what asset that the issue was found on, when it occurred, the detector that found it, and also the ability to understand a little bit more about what the actual bug is. We've also integrated this to take you back to the actual project in which the detection was created. And you're able now to explore specifically in that public firing range test um, the other vulnerabilities that have been found. And for the cross-site scripting ones, we provide even more additional information around each of the points where there was cross-site scripting detected, uh, cross-site scripting vulnerability detected, the ability to, for you to have a reproduction of that error, what the actual error was, and the ability for you to look and explore in more detail. At this point, you have enough information to provide to your development team for them to explore the code and fix that vulnerability. Thank you for tuning in. Please visit cloud.google.com security for more content from Google Cloud experts.